Okay. We're joined today by Roger Aston, Executive Chairman of Clinical Stage Oncology Company, Barmost, ASX code PAA. Roger, thanks for your time. Thank you, David. Um, looking forward to discussing our recent trial and our recent announcement with you. Today, you announced your phase two canine trial achieved a successful outcome. In layman's terms, what exactly does it mean? And why are these results so important? Well, in any trial that one undertakes, as we have just uh, done with this canine trial with um, patients with lymphoma, uh, there are several aspects that one measures to determine how successful the trial was. <clears throat> Safety and efficacy, of course, being the principal uh, uh, outcomes that one looks at. And we can confirm that the efficacy was good in a sense, how? Well, the efficacy was good because we induced stable disease in a number of the patients and we induced regression and uh, even complete regression of target um, tumors in animals. So that, to me, that's a very good outcome. On the safety side, we did have some side effects which we reported in the announcement. But as I um, will mention uh, later in the discussion, uh, these side effects will be uh, reduced or eliminated, we believe, by the reduction in dose because the efficacy is biphasic with this product. That was, that's the other surprising observation, which is quite exciting, really, um, uh, as we move forward. And you have been developing a new tablet for the treatment of both canines and men. How did this perform in the trial? The tablet did very well. In fact, it, uh, in, in some regards, it outperformed. It delivered high doses of drug to the patients, namely the, the canines. And uh, uh, we did uh, quite a few trials last year to optimize the formulation of the, uh, of the tablet, uh, the way it's formed, the type of excipients it's got in it, the size of the tablet, how it should be stored and so on. All that stability uh, is still ongoing, but it looks very good. So uh, much of the, the groundwork for commercializing a product has been done. It's not all, always just about how good is the drug in the dog, can you actually deliver it? Our historic trial, which also gave good results, was done in a liquid form of the drug, which was rather foul tasting, which had all sorts of problems. The tablet was desi designed to um, uh, yield a product with, which is palatable, and delivers the drug to the right spots uh, in the right quantities. What would a licensing agreement for Pharmos look like? And I do understand the company does have an option agreement with a major veterinary group. We do. Uh, we've had an option uh, in place for some time, a year or two. And uh, the partner has been waiting for us to undertake a trial, which we have just completed. Uh, at least to a degree which is uh, ab able to submit it for assessment by the partner. So um, in terms of timing, what we will do is finalize the data package, produce the final report, which needs input from the veterinarians from different sites across the country. Uh, and uh, we will present this data to the partner and we hope that they will exercise their option and work with us into the next stages. And uh, time course for that is, is hard to put a time course because much depends on their internal processes. And I'm also sort of semi-conscious of all the COVID-19 business going on uh, has delayed lots of companies progressing projects and so on. So we're hoping that over the next uh, couple of months, we will at least have a report to submit to the partner and then the ball will be in their court as to where we go next. I suppose, at the very least, it's useful and helpful to have a partner there ready and waiting. Indeed it is, and I think we have to remember that Pharmos uh, is not a global distributor of products. We don't have the marketing capability of a global major. Uh, we don't have uh, um, uh, reps running around the country or the world selling our products, so we really need to use or work with a major uh, distributor and the company in question that we're, we have the option with uh, is certainly extremely aggressive uh, at marketing and uh, one of the best performing uh, vet companies in the world. So we're very excited about the prospects of what they can achieve. 
And looking forward, obviously you can't predict the future or make uh, uh, forward-looking statements, but on a news flow basis, what should the shareholders be focused on? Well, um, I think number one, as we've just been saying, the outcome from the commercial partner will be an important milestone for us. And of course, if they uh, give us the nod that they are excited about the data that we've produced, then the project pretty well settles down in their hands and they will do phase three, as you would have seen from the announcement that uh, our, vets, our vets feel that the product should now be investigated in a phase three trial. Uh, so that would be one milestone opportunity coming up. But I think the second one, which I'd like to mention is that with all our focus at the moment on the VETS trial, we have not progressed uh, further with the, the human uh, studies with cancer. We have done one trial at the Royal Adelaide Hospital a few years ago, which told us that the drug is active and inhibited cancer markers. So we'd like to repeat that now in a targeted cancer, in one cancer, the trial in Adelaide was in several cancers, but we'd like to pick a cancer which we think the drug will work best in and find an academic institution that's going to help us evaluate it in that cancer, either with chemotherapy or without. And what does stable disease mean for a dog's lymphomas? Normally disease sounds bad, but what does stable disease mean and why is that so important? Well, st stable disease pretty well means what it says. In other words, uh, the disease is not progressing. So with cancer, you have a tumour and it starts growing. And it doesn't always grow at the same rate throughout its uh, existence. Sometimes it's growing faster, sometimes it's growing more slowly. Uh, and if you have a drug that is effective uh, in cancer therapy without uh, too aggressive side effects, uh, then you can stop the tumor from growing or you can regress it. We observed both effects in our trial, both regression uh, in one dog, which was a significant regression in a sense because it was over 60% of tumor burden in the target tumor. Um, but we also saw tumors disappear completely. So that, that's an exciting observation. Stable disease basically means that you're putting that tumor in check or on hold and it is not growing bigger. And that's important because whilst the tumor is on hold, the patient can to some degree live with that tumor. It's when the tumor gets larger and starts infiltrating other tissues that it becomes more lethal, shall we say. Roger, exciting times ahead for the company, a key milestone met and a clear path forward. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Thank you.